Folks, let me get your attention, okay? I want to, um, I, I want to get us saving these things. I want to, I want to teach you how to save your projects um, with the idea that next week we're going to look at taking this whole project all the way through from beginning to end the rock. Um, and the week after that, we're going to look at them. We'll look at your finished projects. So that means that you have to uh, be able to save your work, right? Has anybody saved yet? I didn't think so. Um, okay, um, I'm going to be right here, and I'm just working on something like that, right? And I now want to save that work. Um, what would I do in another program? Control S. Actually, I have no idea if that works. It does. Um, and it puts me somewhere, and I could save it. What I want to be talking about today is where it puts me, this thing over here and why that's important to what we're doing. Um, I'm not going to save this here for several reasons. And I'm going to look at the file system that we have here uh, because one of the reasons I didn't show you how to save for so long is that file maintenance, which is how you take care of where all the data is, is a huge, huge, huge issue in 3D, like a humongous one. It's such a big issue that it gets in the way of saving stuff the way you're used to, simply. Um, I'm going to open up this, and it's going to give me this. What is this? Anybody know? You've looked at it all the time. What is this thing? What does it do? You know it, right? <laughs> You don't know it, that doesn't surprise me. I don't think a lot of people do. This is a dialogue requester. This basically is the means of Windows telling you where files are. Um, and tell me this, what's a file? Did you ever think about it? Stored data. Stored data, that's correct. I'm storing this information that I'm using. I'm storing pictures, movies, um, uh, songs, text files, all that stuff. I'm storing it somewhere. Um, this over here is Windows' way of telling me where I'm storing that stuff. And you'll see it has a lot of stuff in it. Um, this right here is oftentimes called the root. See where it says that? See up there? And I'm going to do something. I'm going to open that up here. And I'm going to open this up here. And I'm going to open this up here. And open this up here and open this up, Softimage data, I think I need here. Uh, and in this, I'm going to go here and then here. And you'll see I have this big list of stuff over here, right? Yeah. Um, if I go up here, ba -ba 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 -ba, let's go back to scenes. There, what is this at the top? That's right. It's oftentimes called a path. Uh, I want to show you something here. This and this, same thing. This is called a file path. Now, it's called a file path because it is quite literally a path to your file. Um, there's a folder, there's a disk called C, which is denoted there, right? And in that disk, there's a directory called program files, and in that there's a directory called Autodesk, and in that there's a directory called Softimage, and in that there's a directory called Data, in that there's a directory called Exercise Samples, and in that there's a directory called Scenes. And that's actually where my file exists. So this is the syntax, the way of getting to that file. This is called a file path. And this thing C is oftentimes called a root. It's called a root because this thing over here, this is a hierarchical structure, meaning it goes um, from largest to smallest. And that's oftentimes called a tree structure because basically like a tree, it starts at a root and then I have a bunch of directories there and then a bunch of directories there. And if you looked at it, it looks like a big tree. This is one branch of that tree. Now, the reason this is important is that this syntax here, if I have one letter of this wrong, I don't get the file. 
I have to know exactly where that file is to get it at the right time. And this syntax means something to the computer. Uh, for example, colon. That colon right there? That colon tells the computer that the thing before it is a disk or a data source of some sort. Um, you've all seen C, right? The C drive? Yes? Do you know why it's called C? Did you ever wonder? <laughs> um, there what? Did someone have a response? Uh, well, when computers first came out, they didn't have hard drives. They had floppy drives. And the first floppy drive was called A. And this is like we're talking DOS times because what else would you call it? <laughs> they only had very simple, um, as I mentioned at the time, you had, um, you had 8.3. You couldn't have file names longer than eight letters. And they were capital letters. So they used a capital letter A to denote that first floppy drive. Then people got another smaller floppy drive, which was known as B. And by the time hard drives came out, the hard drive was called C. And I want you to think about this. In Windows 8, they still have a C drive. The reason they have a C drive is that if they lost it, whole systems would collapse. That people have so much data stored in these systems that have C references in it, that Microsoft is terrified of the idea of removing the C drive. Um, and to go further, below this I have a web address where you'll notice that colon again. That's not a coincidence either. Um, this tells the computer that we're looking at some sort of um, device uh, so that if I take this, if I take this here, I should be able to put it up here eh, and paste it. Uh, let's try that again. Edit, copy. Now go up here and I'll paste it somehow. Ugh. And this is going to go nowhere because I have that extra C in there but I'll back it out. And it should go to that location, which is the same place. Um, this should tell it that it's going to the internet. I wonder if this will work. Look at that. So that colon on these systems literally tells them that like this thing before it is going to be going to some device. Um, when HTML was first made, the guy who made it made sure that there were two slashes so that you would know that you were going off your system. And the reason every web address you see is, you know, something colon backslash backslash is because he made that decision in, I think, 1991. And again, we still have it today. You don't see web addresses that will not use that HTML thing. I should say HTTP thing. Even though in this case, it's showing us just the originals, but I can put that in there and it gets the dialogue. Um, even from here, I can do stuff like, and it brings me up all my files. Look at that in Chrome. And I can find that same path if I want to. Program files, um, we'll put that over there. Uh, Autodesk, Softimage, data, exercise samples, scenes. And this is where my stuff will go. And you'll see up here, I have this big long dialogue, which is file colon, backslash, 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 C colon, blah, 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 like that, okay? Now, that's a lot of stuff to keep in mind. Um, that's why saving in Softimage, one of the reasons why saving in Softimage is tricky. Um, if I go back to Softimage here, every time you've been working, you've been working in a project. Um, I have to put Softimage files into a project because Softimage was designed to be used by hundreds of people at the same time. So they had to make a system whereby if there's 40 people across a whole network all accessing the same scene, everything can find where it is and everybody knows where the files are and everything follows through and that works out. The way they did this is they came up with this thing called a project. Um, I'm going to go file project manager, and I'm going to make myself my own project to store stuff in. I go to new project, and the first thing it's going to bring me up is their file requester. Now note this, they have their own file requester. This is not the Microsoft one. Uh, I'm going to click the ellipses, and this is the Microsoft one. I'm going to find a place to put this. I'm going to put it loose 
in the C drive, and I'm going to call this um, something very easy to remember. Francis Rock, let's say. Actually, I like that. Okay. Close. I still have not saved this. File, save as. Now, I'm in a place I can save this. I'm going to call this Rock 1. Now, I want to show you a couple things. That says Project Francis Rock K, Scene Rock 1. If I look at my drive now, and I'm going to go back up to the C drive, there should be a new directory, Francis Rock X. If I open that, look what's in it. That's what Soft Homage made. They made that whole directory structure right there. And in that directory structure, there is one directory where my actual file is, right there. Um, it's tiny, 402K. Now, what Soft Homage calls a project, we call a directory. And Soft Homage will not load properly unless it sees that whole directory above it. So once I make a project, I can save into it all I want. Um, let's modify this a bit. We'll grab some points, we'll translate them like that, and we'll scale them, let's say. I'm going to do a local scale like that, and I'm going to save the work again. File, save as, rock2. And I'm going to quit. Now I have to be able to find my data. Computer, C, and there's this new directory. This is the thing I want to save. Um, I'm going to take this directory right here, and I'm going to write it out to a, um, a portable drive, which I have here, a little tiny USB key. See that? Um, you don't have to use a USB key, though it can be convenient too. Uh, and let's see if it sees it. Nope, oh, it saw it. Windows 7 is this USB key, which it might take a sec to open. As a matter of fact, I should have my keys hanging on it. Oh, that was unhappy. Let's try that again. I'll go back over here. Let's check our drive, see. Um, let's check. I have another USB key, which I'm going to put in there. Oh, actually, this is a USB 3. I wonder if it will see this. We do, and that's, I, I think I'm in it, so I'm going to try to pull myself out of it and see if I can use the USB 3 port. It's a very, very cheap USB. That's a good sign. <laughs> Let's see if my mouse comes back to me. Oh, it's saying it. This is a cheapie from Micro Center. Darn, and then this port. <sighs> I'm kind of portless. Ah, no, I'm back. Good. Okay. So I have this thing Micro Center. Good. I want to put this folder here into there. Um, one nice easy way is just like this. And that should have already copied it over. Yeah. Now what that means is if I delete this, delete, my file is still safe on this, which I just pulled and should go away. Good. Uh, yeah, sure. Cancel. Yes. Um, let me check and see if it's really there. I'm going to plug this back in. And it came up. If I go into it, there should be Francis Rocks. In that, there should be all these directories. And in that, there should be these scenes files. Now you'll note they're not identified with anything. So let's reopen Soft Image and see if we can load them. It brings this up right away, which is good. Uh, I'm going to hit um, New Scene and just let this open, which will take a little bit. Look at that, we're dying. Close the program. 
It can be buggy. Good. We'll try it again. Da, 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 da. Soft homage. I hope this gets happier. Pulling and unplugging all that USB stuff isn't great, but you know, you have to test these systems. The more we tax them, the better, I think. Although it is kind of annoying when they won't open. You're not gonna do this for me? Oh, that's a good sign. Wait for it to respond. Good, we're there. Okay, now I wanna get my file. File, open. Um, I'm going to go up my directory tree, Micro Center, Francis Rocks, Scenes, I'll take Rock 2. It's never been saved, do you want to save it now? No, because there's nothing in that. It's not part of the list, let's make it part of it. Okay, there we are, we're back, we have it. That means I'm now safely rooted from here, and if I save, let's modify this. Uh, point mode, grab some points, translate them rotate them, and let's save again, save as, rock three. Now, when I quit, I have the new files in there. Okay, so now I safely have all my files on this USB key, and I can move them back and forth and get from place to place. What do you think about that, is it doable? Okay, give it a shot. With your work right now, try to create a new project, Try to write it out, try to make sure you know where it is, and start saving your data to it. Then when you're done, we will, um, you know, you'll take it with you, and you'll be able to work continuously forward, okay?